Today uh, we will solve question number 25. So first of all, read this question carefully before watching this video and try to solve this problem. Only in that case you will understand it better. So let's continue. Here we have a um, uh, package of mass M given it's falling uh, from the rest uh, and uh, collides with uh, collides with uh, another package at the bottom of this uh, at the bottom of its uh, way uh, and mass two times bigger is 2m so here we need, to, we, we need to consider two types of collisions in first case in the first case uh, inelastic they stick together they uh, they will continue uh, their motion together in second case uh, we, uh, we will assume that uh, collision is perfectly elastic. So uh, let's start from the first one. Uh, from the first one, uh, inelastic. Inelastic. So at the bottom, the first object, uh, first object, first object, we have some velocity. Yes, let's call it V0. Uh, mass m it will collide with the second one uh, mass 2m initially it was at rest this is a before collision this is a before collision after collision uh, they will continue their motion together so it means total mass will be 3m and the velocity let's say uh, v2 this is a after collision so first of all, let's find uh, initial velocity of the uh, first packages just before coming uh, coming in contact with the second package before just just before colliding. So uh, initially, uh, initially it was here. Finally, it will be here. Yes, it will have some velocity v zero. So now this is initial point. This will be final point just before colliding. Uh, just before colliding with the, uh, with the second package. So now we will write conservation of energy only for the first package. Only for the first package. Uh, so uh, initially uh, there was only potential energy. Let me write M1GH because we are, at the moment we are considering only the first object. Uh, at the bottom uh, it will uh, there will be only kinetic energy. Yes, uh, there will be only kinetic energy. So this is conservation of energy for the first object. So from this one, we can find uh, final velocity, which is initial velocity uh, for collision. Right? So V0 equal to square root 2 times gravity times height. Uh, so let's assume gravity, let's take it as a 10 times height is 3. So, uh, final velocity or initial velocity for collision, uh, we can find it square root 60. So it's approximately 7.74 meter per second. Now, uh, this is part A. Part A. Now, uh, collision. We know that uh, for collision, momentum conserves momentum of the system. Uh, total momentum of the system before collision should be equal to total momentum uh, of the system after collision. So here uh, collision is happening in one dimension, in only in x direction, so there is no need to worry about second dimension. So initially, uh, only before collision, only uh, first package is moving to the right, so only this one has a uh, momentum direction is to the right second one stationary so zero basically all we can say 2m times zero uh, at the end uh, total mass 3m and they will be moving with velocity v2 to the right so as you see from this equation uh, 3m v2 uh, mass will be cancelled so v0 equal to 3 times v2 so from here velocity of the system after collision equal to uh, v3 over v0 over 3 so we know that uh, we know that v0 is 7.74 approximately over 3 so uh, velocity equal to 
zero velocity after collision equal to 2.58 uh, meter per second. So we did the first part. This is an uh, inelastic collision. Now let's come to the elastic collision. Part B. Elastic. Perfectly elastic. Elastic means uh, they will continue their motion uh, in uh, with different velocities. So they will not stick together. Yes, question is to what height does the package of mass M rebound? So from here we know that uh, we know that second first package should go back yes and to what height it will uh, it will rebound to what height it will reach after collision so basically we need to find this height yes so uh, it means we should find its velocity after collision basically and now we know that it's an inelastic collision uh, initial velocity or velocity of the first package before collision will be same. Yes, we did it in the first case because it's still coming from the same height. So initial velocity is V0 given mass M. Second one is stationary before collision. And this is a before collision. Now after collision, this is elastic collision Second, uh, in second part. So it means they will continue with different velocities. And we know that the first one uh, will change its direction. It, it will go back to the left. Yes. Uh, so let's write it like V1 is the velocity of the first package and direction is to the left. Second one, uh, there is no choices. It will go to the right. It cannot go to the left because collision is happening from the uh, left side. Uh, this is after. After collision, uh, V0 is given approximately 7.74 uh, meter per second so now let's write uh, conservation of momentum conservation of momentum uh, states that in its total initial uh, momentum of the system should be equal to total uh, final momentum of the system initially only the first one is moving to the right uh, second one stationary uh, zero uh, after collision after collision, the first one uh, will go back to the left. It means its momentum will be negative. Second one will go to the right. Uh, it's obvious. Uh, so it will be positive. So as you see here, uh, V initially equal to 2V2 minus V1. As you see from this equation, we have uh, uh, two unknowns in this one equation. Yes? Let's number it. One. You see one uh, equation but to announce we need one more equation so this equation uh, we can obtain it from the conservation of energy conservation of mechanical energy uh, mechanical energy of the system before collision should be equal to total mechanical energy after collision yes of the system of course before collision uh, only first one is uh, moving so there is only one kinetic energy after uh, both have a kinetic energies so uh, we can remove masses M we can uh, remove 2 uh, so what we have here uh, V initial square equal to V1 square plus 2 V2 square <coughs> so this is our second equation uh, so now we can we can solve it first is just masses so what we can do uh, let's take uh, v2 from the first equation which is uh, v0 plus v1 over 2 so let's bring it into the second equation let's substitute it uh, so v0 square v1 square plus 2 times v2 which is v0 plus v1 square divided by 2 square uh, so we can cancel 2 now there is one more 2 let me divide uh, let me multiply both sides by 2 uh, let me multiply both sides by 2 so it will be 2v0 square equal to 2v1 square uh, plus v0 plus v1 square so now uh, let's solve it quickly this is simple mass v0 is given so here we have v0 square v0 v1 v1 square 
so uh, this part will be 3v1 square plus 2v0 v1 and here uh, it will be minus uh, v0 square yes so we have a uh, quadratic equation so v1 equal to from here two options we have uh, in terms of mass we will get uh, we'll obtain two answers so in terms of physics we need to uh, we need to select one of them so uh, 4v0 square minus 4 times a which is 3 b is minus v0 square uh, divide by 2a which is 6 so let's continue uh, here we have a 12 positive is negative negative minus minus times plus 12 plus 4 12 plus 4 now 16 16 v0 square yes and divide by 6 so minus 2 v plus minus 4 v0 divide by 6 uh, so first possible answer is uh, if we select positive sign here uh, we have a 2 v0 over 3 which is uh, 6 sorry 6 which is v0 over 3 second possible answer if we choose uh, negative sign so negative minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 v0 over 6 it will be equal to minus v0 so uh, let's let's study the second answer you see v1 equal to negative v0 v0 we know that its initial velocity uh, or this is velocity of the first package before collision so and uh, you see it's exactly the same final velocity exactly the same uh, so what does it mean in terms of physics and negative negative means direction yes we said that it uh, this v1 we are assuming that it will go to the left but we have a negative uh, sign here so it means this answer means it will go to the right and with the same initial velocity what does it mean uh, this is possible only in one case in one situation if no collision yes it will continue with the same velocity if uh, there is uh, if uh, if nothing uh, collides with the first package which is wrong uh, which is not which is not our case yes in our case uh, it collides with heavy object uh, heavier object and it it will change its direction so uh, we will accept the first one v0 over 3 so which means uh, which means 7.74 over 3 approximately uh, 2.2.58 2. meter per second now most of the students uh, doing this mistake I will explain this mistake so numerical value 2.58 in the first case in uh, an elastic case we have the same velocity to the same speed same uh, same numbers same magnitude 2.58 uh, but be careful this v2 is going to the right going to the right it per second but in elastic case in elastic case it will change its direction it will go to the left two point meter per second so uh, most of you uh, just uh, just skipping this part all this part you are skipping uh, all this part you are skipping this part these calculations you are ignoring uh, conservation of momentum you are ignoring conservation of energy and uh, uh, you are just directly using this value but first you should prove and uh, you cannot use directly this one because this is a totally different uh, velocity uh, because direction yes direction first you should prove that it uh, it will continue with the same 
by chance we are getting the same magnitude but totally different direction uh, totally different direction so that's why in homeworks i did not accept this uh, this kind of explanation yes most of you uh, did this kind of calculations explanations so in the first case you found that velocity 2.58 uh, perfect i didn't charge uh, i didn't charge for this part it's because it's correct but uh, you are for the part b you are directly using this number uh, without any explanation uh, which is totally wrong uh, yes i agree magnitude is same but direction is totally different and you should prove it you should prove it in terms of physics uh, okay uh, let's continue now we know that uh, first package will uh, go to the left with uh, initial velocity uh, with velocity 2.58 and now it will reach this height as yes? h h1 so again we need to write uh, conservation of momentum uh, sorry conservation of energy initially uh, we have only kinetic energy finally we have only uh, potential energy uh, so from here h1 equal to v1 square over 2g uh, which is 2.58 square over 2 times 10 approximately approximately so 2.85 square divided by 20 so answer will be 0 0.33 meter so this is how you need to solve the problem